we're at the point now that we should just hand the mic over to these gentlemen because it's uh, three years in a row and four years in five. Western fame just drilled them in the 2019 uh, George Moore Levy, Monsieur Dubé, Monsieur Allard. And uh, this gentleman's name? Leo. Leo? Leo is the brains of the operation. Leo, we'll, we'll talk to you later. Is that okay? There you go. All right, we had a chance to talk last. No, no, don't leave. No, no, you can't leave yet. I asked you, kind of, if it's a fair comparison with uh, with um, Keystone Velocity and and Western Fame, you said, well, Keystone Velocity never had to go in 58, 51 every week. This boy just keeps right on going. Yeah, you know, they're both about even right now. But Keystone went twice that race. That's the, you know, that's a. Good, uh, it's pretty good, and uh, that one is something special too, you know. Talk to me about this race. Obviously, the game plan was to get the front. You able to steal, I, I think, enough of a breather for the half. Then you went 27 seconds down the back, and you said, guys, come catch me. You know, those fractions look kind of fast man, for him. You know, he, he do that very nice and easy, and he turned for home. He gave me another run again. He's really, he's so, it's, it's so nice to do, you know, you just don't get tired. Three in a row, four times in five years. Does it does it ever get old for you? No, no, no. Anytime we could have that, I take it. I would think so. We talk to the, no, no, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Uh, be sure, congratulations. All right. What, what does it take to, to get a horse ready now, this is not an invitational. Hello, dear. How are you? Pardon me? Yeah, dear, I'm going to get you to just slide. There you go. She's stealing Leo from me. That's okay. This is not an invitational. This is a six-week series. What does it take to get a horse ready for a series like this? Well, I think that you got to have a horse for it, you know, to start with. I think that helps a lot. I think we had the best horse this year going in, and he's been ultra consistent. But, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a st stressful thing to every week, every week, you know, like the, the one week where he got second, he tied up that week. So, you know, the thing about it is you got to come right back the week after and the week after. So we were back and forth, you know, talking with the owners. Are we going to miss the last leg and just go for the final? And I say, you know, the horse is on a good routine. He's feeling good. If we skip a week and something changes routine and he don't show up in the final, we decided to race him last week. And uh, he showed up again tonight, so now he's definitely getting a week off, that's for sure. I, I would imagine so. What's next uh, in the immediate future for him? What are you looking at? Uh, in, in two weeks from now, he's getting an intentional race at Pocono, the Van Rose. And after that, he's got a race at Chester that I'm guessing he'll be invited to. He's got one in Pocono, Northfield. He's staked to almost everything. Now, now can we... Can, can I greedily ask you to bring him back here for the occasional uh, open handicap, maybe? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's going to be back here at some point this year, and uh, hopefully we get invited for the uh, open invitation also uh, the day of the Million Dollar Trot. I don't know if it's happening in this year. I believe so. So, I mean, we, we're here. We race here all the time, and uh, we're happy to have him here. That's for sure. Western Fame ties the stakes record 150-4. and four. Mr. Allard, congratulations. We're coming back. Number one.